things are about to get dangerous. Wow. Okay, you can already see the venom coming off the tips of the fangs. Established in 1948, the Australian Reptile Park and Wildlife Sanctuary is regarded as one of the country's premier animal attractions. Considered a hands-on learning facility, they are home to a countless number of animal species, including Tasmanian devils and even one incredibly friendly, Komodo dragon. And while their animal attractions have made them a world-renowned place to visit, it is actually their commitment to saving human lives that brings the crew and I knocking at their laboratory door. Hi. Hey, how you doing? You must be Kane. That's correct. Hi, Kane. I am Coyote. I will let you finish playing with whatever you're playing with there. What is that? Uh, just feeding a little redback. Oh, redback. Right? Okay, cool. We did an episode on redbacks, but I brought you something a little more intimidating. I'm pretty sure we have a Sydney funnel web spider. Excellent, my favorite. Let me yeah, have a look. take a look. We, we'll I know there are various different species, but we caught that one last night. Local to this area? Yes, Local about here. 30 minutes from here. Excellent. Oh, look how big yep, it is. It is a very large specimen you've brought me. I'm very happy with that. Okay. It is a Sydney funnel web. That's the good news. It is definitely a Sydney funnel web. Is it a male? That's the big question. It is not. Oh, not a male. No. So this is not the venom gold that you guys are searching. For. No, it is the males. We use their venom to make the anti venom. Right. This is a female. Okay, I was really hoping that we were going to get to milk a spider today. Now, do you guys milk the females? For yeah, anything? we do. We definitely oh, you do, do? Milk the females, yeah. Can we milk this spider? We can definitely milk this spider. Great, so the venom does still have a value of some sort. It definitely does. We send the venom away for different research laboratories to look into the venom. Oh, sweet. Okay, well, we're still going to get to milk a spider, and that's exactly what we wanted. Now, can I actually milk the spider? I will definitely let you milk that spider. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, why don't we do this? Do you have another spider that you can show me how to milk it? I don't know, different species or something like that. I don't really trust myself trying to milk it for the first time. Now, funnel webs, they love to uh, defend themselves vigorously. So if you do touch one, mm -hmm. um, as you might find out, they will stand up. They will defend themselves. Is this a male? This is a female as well. This is a younger female. Okay, wow, lot smaller. A lot smaller. So what's the big difference for anybody out there watching between the males and the females? Because I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, okay, well, with tarantulas, the females are always girthier and heavier than the males. I guess that's the same way with the funnel webs. If I were to look at that, I would think, okay, that's definitely a male as compared yeah. to this. Now, the large abdomen at the back is definitely one way to tell. The, the abdomen size compared to the head size is one way to tell the female and the thicker legs. Okay. So the smaller of the two would be the male. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it is the male that has the most potent venom and the one that is extremely dangerous. Definitely. But a bite from a female, this wouldn't have actually killed me last night. Most likely wouldn't kill you. Unless you're unhealthy or something, it's not going to do you a whole lot of damage. Okay. But we have to treat every bite as a potentially life-threatening bite. Okay, so getting into milking. Yes. How does this process work? Mark, you got an okay shot there? Yep. So what will happen, we got a little vacuum hose going down to a little uh, pump down there. We don't want to have too much suction and, and suck the whole spider in, but just touching them, you can see they seem, you can actually see the, the drops of venom on the tips of the fangs. And that's what we want. We want to get that venom from those fangs into the pipette. So when she stands up, you can see she's very, very aggressive there, oh, pushing yeah. in some venom. We just draw the pipette down the tips of the fangs they are hollow just like a hypodermic syringe. Mm -hmm. And by drawing that down as she's producing that venom, we're just sucking it up into the tip of this pipette. Now, how many of the males do you need to milk before you get an actual vial of a venom you can build an antivenom from? We look at having about 250 to 400 males in any one year that wow. we will have to milk every single day right through the year to, to keep up with the quota we need to give to the That's Commonwealth Serum crazy. Laboratories. And in your opinion, would you say this is the most dangerous spider in the world? Definitely, definitely. You okay. really do not want to get bitten by one of these. The good thing we have in Australia is the reptile park produces the venom to make the antivenom. Since the antivenom came out in 1981, we've had no deaths attributed to a funnel web spider bite. So really? It's very good. Okay, so the research is working, the antivenom is working, but how many people would you say are bitten every year? Because this is an extremely common species that's found in suburban areas. Definitely, we have a lot of people and a lot of conflict with the funnel web spiders in the area. 
There's about five people every year that require a serious amount of antivenom. There are also bites that do present the hospital that don't have a severe envenomation. Right. And then may not require antivenom. It's always a last resort, the antivenom. Okay, now, now the spider that we caught last night is a female. And fortunately, I was not bitten. But if I was, what would I have wanted to do in that instance? First thing you want to do is a, is a full compression bandage on the area you've been bitten. Okay. If that was on your hand, any bracelets, rings, watches, jewelry has to come off straight away. So it this will would have swell. been problematic. Definitely take it off. It okay. will swell up straight away. Let's say I was bitten on the tip of my finger. Basically what we're going to go with a bite is you want to go around the bite site first of all. Okay. These bandages are great. They're going to tell us the correct tension to put it on. When they form a square, we know that they're going the right tension to restrict the flow of the venom. You go around the bite site, and then what you're gonna do, because it's at the fingertip, we're gonna go the whole limb. We don't stop at the wrist, we don't stop at the elbow. Mm -hmm. We go as far up as the bandage will allow us. Now that pressure, you can feel that's pretty tight. Oh yeah, I feel like a mummy. What the idea is, is it's restricting the flow of that venom going through your lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. We wanna restrict that flow, and hopefully the venom will neutralize itself down here and not right through your body. Okay. Once you've got that on there, you're gonna stay still. If you've got a button up shirt or a sling, you put that on and you want to get to hospital as soon as possible. Okay. Calling an ambulance or getting someone to drive you. You don't want to try and drive a vehicle yourself while you are bitten. Yeah, I can certainly feel that it is providing quite a bit of pressure to my arm. Yep. Now, like I said, as we all know, I was not bitten, but here's the million dollar question. Have you ever been bitten? I've never been bitten by any spiders, luckily. Really? So no, no Wow, spiders, so no. you're extra careful when you're working with Definitely these spiders. Definitely have to be extra careful working with them. Yeah, well, when we were filming last night, I'll tell you what, I was nervous to be around that spider. This is good to know. I mean, it sounds like this is something that everybody should have in their first aid kit here in Australia. Definitely in Australia. Venomous snakes around the world differ mm -hmm. in different areas you wouldn't. In Australia, with our lapids, we need this same bandage will work on any of our venomous snakes as well as our funnel web spiders. All right, well, let's take this off my arm. I've seen you milk a spider. I think if you guys are ready, I am ready to milk the Sydney funnel web. Right. Does that sound good to you? That sounds great. I'll put this little one right. away. Things are about to get dangerous. Oh boy, here we go. I'm just gonna gently coax her out. There she is. That is one big funnel web spider right there. All right, I'm going to reach over here to grab the pipette. It's coming off of its clip. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow. Okay, you can already see the venom coming off the tips of the fangs. And what Kane said is that I actually want to just kind of turn her a little bit. So if you touch her back leg on this side, she'll turn to face the pipette. definitely venom there inside the pipette. We get her to rear up a second time and she will just keep producing venom, right Kane? Yeah, that's correct. Even once you've got her up like that with the legs up, a gentle blow right towards those fangs will sometimes get her to push some more out for you. That's it. Just draw down the fangs. Oh. Yeah. Just bit the pipe at. You can feel the power in that strike. Okay, I think uh, that's all the venom she has to give, and you know, it's not as much as I thought was gonna come out of there. I could see why you guys have to milk so many of these spiders to build up a vial to create that anti-venom. Yeah, exactly. It's not as much as you're gonna get from one of our venomous snakes in Australia, but it does show you how potent it is. It's only a little amount that does a lot of damage. Okay, now what do I wanna do with this? We'll put just the pipette back safely over here. Okay, I'll hand I'll that take to that you. For you. I'm gonna just put this little capsule back over her for safety's sake. Excellent. Thank you. Wow. Woo! That was nerve wracking. And you do this every day, don't you? Every day. I love it. Wow. Well, this was so cool. Thank you so much for lending me milk. Not a problem at all. A funnel web spider. It. Now, it wasn't a male, it was only female, but that doesn't matter. The venom is still of value. Now, for everybody out there watching, if you come across one of these spiders, try to safely catch it and bring it here to Definitely. the Australian Reptile Park, because this is the only place that milks funnel webs for the production of anti-venom in Australia. That's right, guys. So if you bring one here, there is the chance that you're gonna save a life. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. 
The Australian Reptile Park is the only sanctuary of its type in Australia that has a spider and snake venom milking program. And the good news is that their anti-venom creation has been saving thousands of lives for over 50 years. If you encounter a snake or a spider while exploring in Australia and admire the animal from a safe distance, your odds of being bitten are very unlikely. However, unexpected bites do occur. And if you find yourself in this worst case scenario, make sure to stay calm and seek medical treatment immediately. If you thought milking a funnel web spider was nerve wracking, make sure to go back and watch the episode where we caught this infamous arachnid and got it up close for the cameras. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. And just for scale, look at how big that spider is next to my hand.